Hey there guys, welcome back to another edition of the DC Wiki's YouTube channel. I'm the DC Wiki and we are here in the War of the Light Part 1 Mogo's area. Uh, we're going to be heading towards Metropolis Battle Zone to get the Bounty Feats and to get the Agitated Pulsar Feet. Uh, so, real quickly, I'm just going to go over all of the feats while we're here. Uh, Missed Opportunity is the first feat that we will be getting in this video. It is a feat where you got to kill Black Adam uh, without allowing him to kill any of the ads. There's also three other feats which is missed list where you got to kill each of the different misted bounty people and also uh, misted menaces which go up to 50 times so you have 10 30 and 50 misted menaces you have to kill in order to get three different feats and then finally you have the agitated pulsar sl1 feat which is don't get mad get even i'll be going over each and every area uh showing you guys where the feats are located at uh the edged pulsars will be in the red lantern area right next to the spawn and then the other two will be in well the other three will be in both misted area red lantern and the yellow lantern missed opportunity is only in the yellow lantern area over by union station so those are the feats for you guys i hope you do enjoy this video thank you guys for watching and i will see you all at the end of this uh, open world instance. Alrighty guys, I'm going to make this short. We got the missed opportunity feat. Uh, we're going for the don't get mad, get even now right here. And then we also got one towards the missed list and another towards the other feat, uh, missed menaces. So thank you all for watching. See you all in the alert. And shout out to Ice Skull 1123 and whatever man for helping me out in open world. See you in a minute. Hey there guys, welcome to the strike team operation. I'm going to be going over all of the feats before we even go into this. There's going to be four feats in this. One is going to be the very first boss with Arkello, where you got to deactivate the bombs before uh, they go off while you're fighting Arkello. Two is the don't leave no one behind. Uh, and that is where you got to burn Lissa Drac and her fearsome buddy before she teleports anyone away uh, and you can't save them. So I would suggest major burn for that feat. The third one is efficient generator disruptor where you're going to need a really good tank that can pull and stun. So make sure that the tank knows how to stun and pull the edge without killing them. They cannot die. And then the fourth feat is I Get Misty, where if you have enough burn, you can just kill Blaze and her uh, furious person as quickly as possible and get the feat. The two parts of this feat include uh, not allowing Blaze or her buddy to get the mist, 
and for you not to get the miss into each of the different Star Labs containers that is sent off for you at the very beginning. So those are the four feats. You're going to see detailed walkthroughs of them in each different area. Uh, I hope you do enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a like. And if, and if you want to see more videos on DCUO and its feats, please subscribe to my channel. Without further ado, let us get to the feats. Thank you all for watching. See you all at the end of the alert.
Alright guys, so we got all of the feats in here. We got I Get Misty, Explosive Denial, Efficient Generator Disruption, and the Leave No One Behind feat. So, good job for everybody that got those feats. Uh, like I said, I suggest a lot of burn for these uh, in Strike Team. It definitely requires a lot of it. And so, next up is Mr. Recovery. Thank you all for watching. See you all in the next alert. Hey there guys, welcome to the Mist Recovery uh, operation. We have three feats here today. One of them is RNG, which is Mistaken Identity. Uh, it requires you to verse five different bosses in the very first boss fight. Uh, one of them is Fearsome Scarecrow. The rest of them are the Furious Gang, which include Ursa, Grilligrod, Bruno Mannheim, and Metallo. So those are the four that you're gonna keep an eye, uh, gonna have to keep an eye out on. Uh, uh, and then there's Fearsome Scarecrow, which we get Gullet Rod in this one. Uh, but I do appreciate y'all watching. Uh, the next one is No Mistakes. Uh, after the first boss, it's going to be a Monsur, where you got to protect the uh, mist containers without allowing any of the Mant Hunters to steal them. And then finally, you have the hard light hacker feat where you don't allow the guys to either you either don't allow them to hack the turrets or you allow the group of three bosses to hack all of the turrets uh in which we're going to be going for the no turrets because uh we don't have a whole lot of time here uh for the video we still have assault and battery which is a very long feet run and i won't warn you guys it is a very long video uh but this is going to be fast forwarded from the first half of the open world instance and and getting straight to the star labs area so thank you all for watching see you all at the star labs area for the first boss fight
Alrighty guys, so that is it for all of the feats here. We did get no return. We did get one half of the hard light hacker feat. And we got the uh, one of the five bosses, which was Fearsome Scarecrow. I was wrong. I thought it was Quilla Gride. My bad. Uh, and so we ended up getting uh, quite a few towards that feat. So thank God we got it. Uh, I do appreciate you guys uh, watching this video. If you did enjoy this, uh, please give it a like. If you want to see more videos like this uh, for DCUO and its feet, please subscribe to the channel. So thank you all for watching. As you can see there, all of the stuff that we got done. See you all in the next video, Assault and Battery Raid. Hi there guys, welcome back to MoGo. As always, we spawn here for the missions in the War of the Light Part 1. Uh, we're going to be going for quick to defend uh, the four corners feet and you conduit to it. Which is the assault and battery feat for the last boss. So, the very first feat is to defend this area within so much time. Uh, I don't exactly know the exact amount of time, but it's a very quick feat if you got a lot of burn. Uh, and it's a very easy feat to get. So you can see everybody here uh, getting ready for this. Uh, the feats uh, that are included in this as well with quick to, uh, quick to defend is four corners where you got to get people into the four corners of the maze, which is the longest feat in this alert to manage the maze while getting everyone into each of the different four corners. And then finally, you have the you conduit to it which is to destroy the batteries at the very last boss without allowing them to go off so uh you don't gotta destroy all of them you just gotta destroy the ones that activate uh, uh, uh while you're killing sinestro and hank henshaw so thank y'all for watching see you all at the end of this raid Alrighty guys, so our method here was to split up each uh, individual person in teams of two. Uh, for one, go two of them going north, two of them going east, and two of them going northeast to the very last spot on the maze. So, and then I ran in there at the very last uh, spot, where at the very beginning door, uh, while Dr. Midnight and I protected the batteries. So, that's how we did it. Uh, if y'all have a different method or want to try it a different way, you go and go on ahead. But this took a very long time, so I'm going to fast forward it from here. Thank you all for watching. See you all at the end of the last boss fight.
Alrighty guys, that is all of the feats for inside the assault and battery raid. We got the quick to defend feat at the very beginning where you uh, protected the area very quickly. Uh, the second feat was four corners where we got each person into each different corner of the maze. And then finally we got you come to it, to it which means that we destroyed the batteries before they could go off uh, the ones that activated. We didn't have to destroy them all because we had the burn. But if you do have to destroy them all, you go on ahead. Uh, I would like to give a shout out to Agents Shield 37, Pippo Dribbin, Mega Man X, Game Freak 832, Atomic King TM, Dr. Midnight, P Pisces, Time Eternal, uh, the DC Power God, Shogun of the Storm, and Mini Emma, and Ice Skull 1123, and whatever man, for helping out with all of these videos. See you all in the next DLC.